We done pretty good, man. We caught them on a bunch of different lures. Yep. Did you ever get one on jerk bait? Uh, I quit throwing it. I didn't throw one. I quit throwing it. I tell Mike, I, well, I'm about afraid to throw. I got two more of that one left. I'm about afraid to throw them in there. And that one that I tried today, it just. It's one of the older ones. Hey, they don't need to be scared, are they? No! <laughs> Here? Hey, I'll throw them over on Jerking. <laughs> Let me tell you. Well, it's like old Mark Duncan says, crappy fishing, if you, if you can't lose a 40 cent jig, you shouldn't be fishing. <laughs> <laughs> you can't afford to lose that TD minute, Scott. You might as well just hang it up. I got news for that guy. That ain't no, that ain't no 40 cent jig. <laughs> hey, folks, welcome back to the channel. Um, Bike with Big Bake Posse here. It is first weekend in April, getting ready to head to the river. Gonna meet Mike and Scott down here uh, to do a little fishing. It's uh, Sunday, windy, cold uh, day, cool day. Supposed to be in the uh, oh, I guess uh, upper fifties with ten mile an hour winds. So we'll see how it goes here. Not sure exactly what's gonna happen. Uh, not sure exactly how the river's going to be, uh, to be honest with you. So, hope you enjoy this video. Uh, if you've not hit that subscribe button, please do so. Uh, drop us some likes. Uh, throw a comment or two out there. Hope to see you on the water. That is 
thing in inches. Bullshit. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that video down in the Yak Shack here to close out this video. Uh, got a few channel updates. Uh, just update on my bike and I uh, was going to go over exactly what we used uh, to catch these fish. I know this video is not, probably not what a bunch of you like to see. I know you, you guys want to see cast catch, but this spot we're going to right now is a pretty delicate spot and doesn't get a lot of traffic and I hope you understand we just want to keep it that way. As far as the channel goes, we're at 950 subscribers. Appreciate all the support. Uh, I know we've got a lot of guys that watch faithfully and comment. I appreciate all you guys for doing that. Don, Titus, Russell, uh, all you guys are always watching and commenting and I appreciate it. Sunfish Assassin, uh, all you guys, thank you very much. Uh, update on my back. I guess uh, I've been out of commission pretty much since January or so. I guess I started crappy fishing from the Hobie in um, November, December time frame up into January and did something to my back, lower back, I guess uh, it may have been caused by the hobie, maybe seat position, it may have been caused by a long pedal stroke, I'm not sure what caused that. But anyway, uh, I dealt with the pain up through January, uh, went to my doctor, he did some uh, steroid injections, steroid pack, I actually had an AFib incident in uh, probably late January. Uh, off that steroid pack and uh, it's just sort of dealt with it up into February and finally started going to chiropractor two times a week and up until last week wasn't doing really much better. Um, got an MRI schedule for April 21st and maybe a procedure after that according to what the MRI is showing. But last Thursday went to the chiropractor and did an adjustment and the back started feeling a lot better and it's feeling better now. I've made it about five days in a row where uh, the pain's very minimal. So it's down from a pain scale of probably eight to a one, one and a half, something like that. So uh, pain's starting to centralize a little bit. So maybe I'm on the mend. I wanted to give a shout out to Mike and Scott for, uh, I've not been able to fish much, really been afraid to fish because of uh, picking up this heavy kayak and paddling and I haven't had the Hobie out lately and uh, what fishing I've done has been crappy fishing on a buddy's glitter boat but uh, I got out with Mike and Scott on this trip and uh, Mike and Scott took care of me, carried my boat, uh, made sure I was all right the whole time and I appreciate that guys. You, you guys are real friends and uh, I'm thankful to have you as friends. But I want to go over what we caught them on. Uh, something I don't usually do a whole lot of, but uh, I was going to show you exactly what we caught them on, the baits we used, and how we fished them. So first off, uh, got there that morning. I always throw a bull shad in there first thing. We most always throw a bull shad um, where we fish first thing. This place anyway. Throw an eight inch bull shad. That's an eight inch bull shad. That's an eight inch floating bull shad. Uh, the first four casts I made, I caught the first three fish pictured in this video on this bull shad. 
That's eight inch bull shad. That's a big bait. Threw it on a Dobbins bull shad rod with a Daiwa Lexa 400 series reel, which is a big reel. I'm 40 pound mono. Another bait we caught fish on was a uh, underspan and a swim bait. That's a 3.8 Speed Chad. It's Bass Pro brand. You can throw Kytec, whatever brand you want to throw. Uh, this Bass Pro brand's uh, Speed Chad is just a little bit cheaper. It's a shad color, just regular shad. On a Berkeley underspan, that's a uh, 3 sixteenths ounce head. Caught a few fish on it. I probably caught five or six fish on it. Scott caught a few on his too. The bait I used was a five inch floating bull shad. That cast to catch section of the video, that's a five inch bull shad, floating bull shad. I want to show you the differences in the size of the baits. That's a eight inch versus a five inch. The bait that I caught fish on was a Z-Man Fatty Z Worm in Green Pumpkin. I fished that on a swing head, 3 16 ounce swing head. Now, I know some people are going to say, well, he caught those fish off the bed. No, I never caught the fish off the bed. I was in a shoal, throwing up in the head of a shoal and letting that worm just bounce along like that right there. Bounce right along the bottom in that swift water, and they would cut, they would run up and pick it up. That's a great worm to fish in spring. I know a lot of guys in Upper East Tennessee on lakes, they fish them on bed and fish in the lakes, but I don't fish bed and fish. I leave them alone when they're on the bed. No, Scott, the jerk bait didn't do any good on jerk bait. Uh, I didn't throw a jerk bait. Mike Kenny threw a crankbait a little, didn't do any good on crankbait. Uh, I know Mike had some on an 8-inch bull shad. Scott had some on an 8-inch bull shad. Mike had some on a 5-inch. Uh, it was mostly Cinco's, 8-inch bull shad, 5-inch bull shad, underspin, where we did our damage. But hey, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Once again, guys, appreciate y'all watching. Uh, you guys make this channel what it is by watching and commenting and we appreciate it thanks for watching hope to see you on the water